we did get a chance to go inside those double doors earlier where we attained a copy of this. It's a murder confession. That's right, Greg. We've been able to go inside and take a look at these abandoned buildings that have been here since 2011. The housing board said they would tear them down, but citizens are only worried that things will get worse. Officials say that over 70 years, 12 Coast Guardsmen have died serving. And right here are the names of those people. I actually got a chance to talk to some of the people in this neighborhood. One of the men actually lives down the street. He said that this is raising a lot of concerns for the people in this community. Now, some of the people that I've talked to say that bringing in metal detectors and doing random searches might not be a bad idea. Reporting from Mobile, I'm Travis Cummings, Local 15 News. Andrea, the caution tape is still up. A small child was rescued by a Pritchard police officer earlier today. Uh, we are getting a, a little bit more information on the story, but we will have that information for you later. That's right, James Mayor Troy Ephraim says that this rally is a way to raise awareness for the citizens in Pritchard. The mayor says that he's fed up with the city's recent rise in crime. Dozens from the Pritchard community marched the streets Saturday morning carrying an important message with them. Enough is enough and who's going to be willing to stand up and say enough and let's put an end to this crime. Pritchard Mayor Troy Efren says that all lives matter but he's calling the rallies meaning for his city something different. All lives matter but specifically in Pritchard, Pritchard lives matter. The lives in our city are important to us. It's important for us to again let everyone know if we don't take a stand and raise up our voice and make a clear deterrent to the things that are taking all of the healthiness, the wholeness, and the good positive things out of our neighborhoods, then who will? The young ladies and young men that sitting down or laying down right now that represent the 22 individuals who died this year alone. After the march, a demonstration was held where 22 people laid on the ground to represent 22 lives lost in Pritchard this year alone. If we do not, Mayor Ephraim says that in order for things to get better in the neighborhoods, the community has to take on responsibility. We're responsible for making sure that our neighborhoods and our homes, that there's some sanctity, that there's some peace, that there's a, a means for us to be able to come together, be together without the fear of crime destroying our neighborhood. The mayor says that the city has taken steps to minimize the violence. We've got a number of programs, the Adopt the Block, that's a crime prevention, community restoration opportunity. But he needs people in the community to stand up and do their part. 